But the first thing I tell you guys, check the capacitor because the capacitor could be faulty and it could be the issue of why the motor started to fail. What's happening, mi gente? Louis the Bullet Man. Weba. Guys, as you can see, we're sweating our balls off. That's right, guys. It's very sweaty and very hot in here in the attic. So right now we work on this air handle. You guys can see it's a um, pain um, air handler. Pain is also made from carrier. But uh, yeah, we got the call. And the call said is that it, it, the unit turns on. However, that it happens intermittently that the unit indoors stops, meaning like the motor just shuts off or doesn't blow anymore. So to me, that's kind of pushing me. That is the the blowing motor starting to fail. But the first thing I tell you guys, check the capacitor because the capacitor could be faulty and it could be the issue of why the motor started to fail. So we want to make sure that we use our tester to check the capacitor, which we're going to check right now momentarily, see if the capacitor is good. If the capacitor is good and it's still doing the same thing and you got power at the, um, at the blow motor, that already tells me that the blow motor started to fail. Somebody. All right. And it's telling here we got a weak, uh, a weak capacitor. So there you go. Change the capacitor. Yeah,